Okay, hey guys. I just did four rounds of this program as fast as I could, but maintaining the best possible form, okay? But it was just so awesome, <laughs> if I just say so myself. Note the wicked red face and the sopping hair. I'm gonna go ahead and do a fifth round, so one full round for you guys so that you can try this at home if you're not members of um, Dream Body's Gym, because even this won't be, excuse me, on the website for a couple of weeks because I tape all my videos a couple weeks ahead of time. And um, I've been trying to put up at least one real-time workout on um, YouTube for everybody uh, every week. So, but this is just one round because I just can't help myself. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this was 10 reps of 10 exercises, okay? And the first one was a burpee jump tuck, which you can do without the jump tuck, just do a squat. Or, but I want you to do the push up in the burpee. And if you're a complete beginner, of course, you can use an elevated surface, okay? So you would either step or hop out, do your push up, step or hop in, and then squat, okay? So, and then they will V up. Yeah, so this whole thing is body weight, but just to add a little extra challenge for me, I use the five pound stay ball, it has five pounds of sand in it for my V up abs and I used my 50 pound sandbag for the hip bridges. But you don't need anything, okay? I just believe me, hot enough without anything. So we had burpee jump tuck, V up abs, which a complete beginner can just do alternating one leg raises and even sit on your sofa and do it. Um, jump squats or regular squats for complete beginners. Stay low knee drives, right then left, then high knee heel taps, which would be uh, push kicks to heel taps or just marching to heel taps for beginners. And then hip bridges, um, handstand kick ups right, handstand kick up left. So the intermediate modification for that is to just bend the legs and do like this little sort of donkey press, pressing through the heel, okay? And the beginner would do the same thing except elevated or even more modified, just go ahead and press the foot, okay? And then we had alternating roll back pistol squats to Plank and back up again. So let's do one full round of this. Oh, I just did four. Okay, and I really, the cardio level was whoa, through the roof. Okay, 10 jump tuck burpees. So you're out, you're up. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten to ten V up abs, which I used my five pound stable for. These were by far the hardest ones. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten jump squats. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Stay low knee drives, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, ten high knee heel taps. One, two, three, four, five, nine, ten hip bridges. One, 
one. Tummy tight as you roll one vertebrae at a time. Back down to the floor, but never completely resting at the bottom. I think that's five, six, squeeze, seven, squeeze that tush, eight, nine, and ten. Into squeeze it, ten handstand kickups. <clears throat> Remember the modifications I showed you. And I started with the crappy leg. So that means my left leg is in front. Okay? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And one. Two, three, four, five more, and five, four, three, two, and one, and ten, alternating roll back pistols. So, and down. Roll to just the shoulder girdle. One. Two. Three. Woo! <clears throat> this is four. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, and ten, that's one round guys, go as fast as you can into your second, third, and fourth round, that would be number five for me, take it easy, join the gym, love you, bye.